Now then, it's pretty warm, but uh, as the late afternoon develops, temperatures going down. There's a bit of rumble of a thunder in the background, but I just thought I've been musing upon this uh, uh, pillar drill, this Denby drill, and trying to work out what I'm going to do. Now, there's a flat area here, which was there was a support that went down to above the motor arm um, on the original. So, I've got this piece of angle iron here, pretty heavy duty stuff, with a cut of holes in it. And I'm going to fit that somewhere like that. And then off here, we'll bring a piece of box section. So that sticks out like this. And then I'm going to use a bit of this rod across here somehow. And that rod. We've got a piece of box section that fits round that rod, like that. So we can build off that and we can build a motor mount. So that the whole of the motor mount can twist. And therefore we can adjust the tension and if we change belt pulleys we can adjust the position of the motor relative to the pulley. So I'm sort of making it up as we go along. But that's the only way to do it, just do it and see what happens. So this is a little bit of an intro and then I'm going to get on with a bit of uh, drilling and welding and then we'll catch up with you shortly. Right, we've got Uncle Harold's hacksaw here and this bit of thick wall inch and a quarter box section or inch and an eighth has got tubes already welded into it so I think we can use that to uh, mount that bar in that solid steel round bar so we just turn the end of it down it'll fit in there and that way there's no there's lots of flexibility there so we'll just cut this off Hopefully you will have seen the uh, Uncle Harold's Workshop series and the extra video that I did describing this saw. So let's get it started up. So, just clamped, I need to zoom in on this I think, that bit of box section here. So as you can see, there's the piece of box section. So that fits into there. So there we go. Now we have to support the other end of that bar. 
and I've got some of this box section and it's got curves in it and I've hacked a piece out the back so I'm imagining that that will stick there there's a bolt down here so I can make a plate up and bolt that there and then I can make a flat plate here pick up on that bolt there and come across to the top of that curve and then another piece of box section like that one there here with this end turned down and suddenly we've got a pivot in place and it doesn't look too incongruous you know it's not like mega heavy duty far too big as far as the scale of the machines considered so then that piece of box section that inch box section will sit on here and we can build a mount motor mount off that which is effectively four pieces of lightweight inch angle iron making two channels and then the motor will bolt onto that and then that will go about there hopefully let's make it up see what happens so I've just made that little bracket there picking up on that bolt and that can be welded to this upright let's change the camera angle so then we've used the existing bend on that piece of steel that box section and now we need to make a bracket that goes between the top of that bend and the big knot that holds the gearbox on so just there not quite at the same level but we can adjust that on the bottom bracket can move it up a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch. but let's make the next bracket so I've got that top bracket done and adjusted the height of that bend on the bottom bracket I just had to raise it up about an eighth of an inch on that clamp there so that's all pretty good I'm just going to clamp everything together at the moment so we need now a support on this end of this steel rod the same as that one so we just need to cut a piece of this bar box section with one of those tubes welded in it so I'll just go and select a piece of that and uh, cut it turn the end of this bar down and then clamp everything in place it's sort of looking not bad we'll go as far as we can see and then we'll see how far we can go and there we are now that bar there has to be parallel with the main shaft yeah we'll have to think about that hmm as you can see there by the way that's the ratios of the gearbox ten point two to one or straight through but we've got this piece of bar mounted either end um, and it's all clamped together because things will need adjusting like for instance the height of this piece here 
relative to that piece of angle iron. Yeah, will uh, dictate how the the motor lies because the mo the weight of the motor will tension the belt, but it might not be enough. So we'll have to work that one out, and of course that height there affects the height here. Keep on carrying on. 